Hey everyone, in this tutorial you will learn how to create smooth organic shapes and plasticity with surface modeling. And if you want to dive even deeper into surface modeling, I have a huge amazing surface modeling course on plasticity. It's by far the best on the internet and you will learn everything about surface modeling, how to create that absolutely beautiful amazing helmet design and also you will learn the whole theoretical stuff behind surface modeling, what is tangency, curvature, you will get amazing exercises and huge amount of bonuses so if you are interested in surface modeling definitely check out first link in the description let's dive right into our surface modeling tutorial all right so first of all just make a screenshot and crop that image and just import append it here into plasticity and let's start so first of all because we have a completely smooth main form so don't look at the details now like this kind of egg or soap we need everywhere tangency and continuity. So we could create it here with curves and all that stuff. But in this example, it's simpler if we just create a line from this end point with shift A and this end point, because now we can just take those points and loft them. And you see, we perfectly get the shape here. And also because here we have G2 on this points and then later when we will symmetry it over, we will have tangency and curvature and everything will be smooth. And if you're wondering like what does all those words mean? It's confusing. What is this? So for that I have created for you a PDF where I explain the absolute essentials of surface modeling G1, G2 continuity, curvature and everything what that means. So feel free to check out first link in the description. Here we have now this con uh, G2 curve. So press OK. And the same we have to do on the side, obvious, uh, on the side obviously to give it some volume. So first of all, let's delete those curves. And again, create two lines, Shift A, and this time snap to those points. And just go here to the right view, snap them down, but you don't have to. So shift A, go to this point and just snap, snap that here on the binormal Z, it's, it, it was called. Perfect. So we have to do the same. And let me hide this. And we have to hide this curve for a second. So we can select just those points. And let's go to the side view and press L. And here you see they are definitely a little bit too crazy here. So just press D. So let's tap tap and go with G1. This will be fine here. And here we can adjust the tension. So press D and just to make it a little bit flatter, right click and also shift S. I want one more point here in the middle because I want just this point and just make it even more flatter. So press OK. Press Alt H to bring everything back. Oh, and by the way, also with this PDF, you will get all shortcuts of plasticity. So you have everything what you need in one place. Delete those curves here. And now we can give it a volume. And we are just working on one quarter because we will just mirror it over. But maybe someone is thinking, all right, let's just love that. But then you see, we don't get exactly what we want. That's why we have to do now some stuff and that's super important to get the main form uh, right because then we can add all of those details. We have to extrude because a curvature can't, don't has a information about curvature and tangency, right? We need an edge. So for that, ex uh, select the curve, extrude it with E and do the same here for this one. Because let me explain it. So first of all, we can hide those curves because now we can use those edges to loft them. So if you select them and press L, voila, you see, we can give it here G0 or G1 and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And you see it's smoothly connected. But the thing is, if we just would loft it in this way, so it would be technically correct. But aesthetically, it would be wrong because let me just delete those surfaces. So if we mirror it over, you see everything looks fine, but the shape. So here you see it. The shape looks a little bit wonky or something, you know, so it's not really what we want because 
here it's going, so I'm exaggerating it, or like what's this word is called here a little bit. So this point goes a little bit too wide, weight outwards. To, so that means we have to go back a little bit till we loft it because we can do something very cool. We can add here an additional curve, which will go from the middle to the middle. And this curve we can build as much, um, so um, as sharp as we want. So we can make something very smooth or something very sharp and just tell some information how the loft should go. So for that, we need here two extra edges. So select with face mode this face, control R for ISO per RAM. Very important command. Again, in the shortcut PDF, you find that. And just snap it to the center and the same here. Select face, control R, snap it to the center. You see, we have two extra edges. Shift B now, or for you, it is if you search for bridge edge. This is the, I think this is the most important command in surface modeling. I have it on shift B because it's fast. So I will just press shift B, bam. And that looks fine. And if you press now one, we see the points and G2 is fine here. So let's adjust that. If we go to the front view again, we can just press D. And here you see, we can reduce now the tension a little bit to something like that. And now you see we have a very smooth curve here. So what we can do now is we can loft that again, select those two edges, shift those two edges, loft. And first of all, you see this curve is a little bit too strong. So what we have now the surface. So if we press shift and add this edge here, bam, you see, we push our surface into this guiding line and that will make everything much more aesthetically pleasing. So delete this curve for now and those surfaces. And now if we mirror it over and press OK, you see now we have a soap like very smooth shape and you see everything looks very smooth. So yes, we could improve that here a little bit, but that is absolutely fine for now. And we can start with our details. So let's go here to the top. And first of all, so you, you can use the reference image, but I don't need, it's pretty simple. We have to cut this surface. So in like in a shape like that, because this here will be the same as is. So everything is smooth. But here in the middle, we will create those lines here. And here we will get this um, things which go inside. So right, what I told you. So here it's everything smooth, right? But here we have those lines and then in those lines we have those curves inside. So let's do that. Pretty simple. Let's just create here a circle and just snap it here. So something yeah, very simple. So something like that. And now a, a curve, take the control point curve. I have it on shift F and go to this point and drag it out on the X axis. This has to be tangent, uh, tangent again. So let's just drag and make something very simple. So here can, you can obviously spend much more time and just play around. But yeah, just for now, something very simple. And take all of those curves here, G, bring them to the top, press S and just scale them on and just press S and just scale them here on the Z axis and make the Z value zero. So they are just on one plane. So we can trim that in a second. And just create here randomly a line somewhere and just for, for example, just connect that so we can, why we do this. So we can now just trim with T this whole piece here away. And also we don't need this piece. So we just have those two curves and we have to join them. So select them both and join them. And now shift one again, you can search for F and imprint 
super important in surface modeling, but I just have it on shift one. And basically you can search for imprint, and then right click and here, um, add, uh, create shortcut or something and just press shift one. And let's imprint this on the surface. And we have something like that. Or basically, we have, we can also cut it. So just select the curve and see and, and cut it. So that's also possible because then this is separate and this is what we need. And now let's create those lines. Again, just go here to this uh, point here and create one line just in the middle. And now we have to radial array around this point and now give it many curves. So something like that. You can play around with number and all that stuff. And first of all, let's delete everything what we don't need. So we just need those which are intersecting with this surface here. So now we ha have to offset them. So press O and offset them and press tap. So it's on both sides. And just F offset them a little bit. So there are no intersecting here anywhere. But this is fine. And now I'll just select those curves in the middle and the one here on the left, which is yeah, on the other axis. We don't need it. Press X. So we have here some curves and I messed something up and yeah, just delete it. And that looks great. And also delete the last line because we don't want curvature here where this triangle is. So you will see in a second why. So just delete the last one. And now what we can do again, select them all and press C and cut only this surface here in the middle. Perfect. So now we can delete again all of those curves and with object mode, select only those middle pieces here, except this last one. Press X and you see now we are getting somewhere already and I think that looks beautiful. So if we press four again, Let's join from right to left everything. So select everything and join it because now we can do the very fun stuff. So just create a line shift a and just go here always from middle till middle doesn't have to be super exact. Let's go from the top view and just snap to the edge and here go to the other side. So you will see it, it doesn't need to be super exact. I mean, you can, but this will be also fine. So something like that. Always where you have the hole. Because now select them all. And okay, yeah, from the top view doesn't work. So select one and take this point and with control and just snap to the edge. So select the point, press control and just snap here to the edge. Because uh, otherwise it's just floating around. Perfect. And again, select all of those curves. Shift S for subdivide to create one point in the middle and just press G and just bring them down a little bit. You can again adjust them here in the middle, maybe make them bring them down a little bit uh, stronger. So maybe let's just select those, bring them a tiny bit up. And now super simple, just press two and select this edge, shift curve and this edge and L to loft it. And now let's just bring it here into our form. So press again shift and add those edges. But you see it's showing here G1. So it's breaking, but we don't have any tangency here. So we just have to press tap tap. So everything is G0. And here we want continuity because here we want the smooth transition. So here it has to be G1 and press OK. Again in the PDF and in my premium courses, everything is much more in depth explained. But you see, now we have a beautiful thing. So let's do one more together. Select this edge here, this curve, and this edge. Press L to loft and shift at just those boundary edges and here just G0 and G0. You see, so here we have tangency curvature, so it's smooth, but here we don't need it. So I will just do it for all of them. So we have something like that. Let's select all of those curves, delete them. And you see all of those surfaces are separate. So press four or object mode, select all of them, press J to just create one surface. 
And yes, the surfaces are not perfect, but for this tutorial it's fine because otherwise it would need some more adjustments, but you, pre you press Alt X and just bring it over and Alt again and bring it to the other side. And if you join that, you get one solid and you have your little soap shell here. And if surface modeling is something you're interested in, I have a course where we use the exact same techniques and create this helmet here from scratch. You can check it out. First link in the description. You will find all of the information. And also there is included a whole course on the whole theory. So what's inside of the PDF, but much more in depth and with some practical exercises. And then we will create, yeah, this helmet completely from scratch. Every beginner can follow along. Everything is super in depth. So here are also some students results and some testimonials. You can check them out. Really fun techniques. So check it out and I hope I can see you in the next one. Bye.